Okay, I will show you uh, assemble and disassemble of Parvus uh, pump action shotguns. This is a tactical version uh, with a telescopic sliding stock and uh, a side set with a trail rail forearm with 7 capacity, mag 6 capacity magazine and 18 inch barrel. Uh, the basics of assembling and disassembling are all uh, same in all Parvus pump action shotguns. So we will show you a better detailed video. Uh, most of the uh, 870 model uh, pump action shotguns are the same, so uh, this video will give you idea how you can uh, make a maintenance, uh, repair, assemble, disassemble of your shotgun. So we will start. First you take the magazine cap, which locks the system to the receiver. You must be uh, sure that this cap is always strong in its place so uh, the gun is safe so in a pump action all the system the barrel the forearm the carrier uh, or let's say me uh, mechanism carrier or uh, let's say uh, the carrier or action bar mechanism and all can be taken out together so you take the barrel aside and there is a place over here where the uh, action bar sits inside the uh, forearm so in most of the systems you will see that there is no metal over here this is very important you should have a metal uh, housing over here so most of the claims can be breaking of these polymer parts so these metal parts uh, protects the breakage of this part over here okay so simply you take out the mechanism and you will see there is a pin over here okay works from here to here which locks the uh, firing pin in and inside the uh, firing pin spring and that also uh, keeps the lock in its place so from top to down you simply push that pin out you see it's over here be sure that you are keeping your finger here because the spring may just show the firing pin you take this out and you just Take the lock out, you can make your cleaning or if you need to change the lock, firing pin or spring you do. So, assembling back, you must be sure that there is a housing place in the mechanism of the lock. So you put in this way, okay. Oh, let, let's take the, firing, uh, the lock again back. So you see the hole here where the firing pin and spring goes inside. So to take the lock, you must take, of course, the firing pin out. Okay, we take this in its place. Oh, sorry. There is a housing over here. Okay. So you see the place. There, there is a uh, space over here, and you need to be sure. Anyway, the pin will push that in its place. So be sure it's strongly in its place and you push the firing pin so you're sure that it's not stucking and working properly you see there is a pin over here for to take out the, uh, out the extractor you may sometimes need to change your extractor so simply you see the sign of the pin here in the same way that you are taking out this pin you can also push from here with a thinner uh, long pin you take and you can take out the extractor, extractor pin and spring, you can make those changes as well. Okay, let's put this here. So, in the system, here is the trigger guard and the group. Uh, we'll show you also how you can take. In some pump action systems, in all Parvus pump actions, we have two receiver pin system. Simply, basically, push the pins out, there are two pins. A little bit forward. Ok, 
Okay, you take this out. You may sometimes feel difficult because of the uh, grip is over here in the standard stocks uh, that will be more easier over here. This is the trigger group in our uh, Pardus pump actions. Here is the safety pin. You can see the red over here which is in fire position and the trigger is open. So you will see it's now open. The hammer will come uh, will be released and come out. So the system how the system works out in a pump action gun. The mechanism carrier or the action bar is over here. When you are pulling the forearm back, this pushes the hammer back, okay, and the hammer is cocked in its place. So when it's on safety, even you pull very strong, you can do that. And when you are pulling forward the action, when it's going, going forward, you see there is a space over here that goes inside here and that pushes this down. So the carrier makes the cartridge up in front of the mechanism. And when going back, the cartridge from this hole comes up like this over here. And that gets the cartridge in front of the mechanism and uh, pushes in the chamber. This is like an ACM system, another uh, side lever, which ensures uh, that's locked in place. When you pull the trigger, okay, of course it's, it's not in the gun, that comes down, so uh, comes down this way, and so you can pull the mechanism back. If that, that's the part you need to push when you are uh, discharging the cham uh, chambered gun, you need to push this so the carrier is free to come back. If it stays like this, you cannot push back. So there are several pins over here to take the hammer and uh, side lever and um, the carrier, also the carrier ledge out. This is the spring of the carrier ledge over here hammer spring and trigger springs are all here. If you need uh, detailed maintenance, you can simply take these uh, pins out, but you need to be careful uh, which spring and pin goes uh, where. So this is simply, um, so the mechanism group and the trigger group are the heart and the main mechanicals of uh, pump action. Okay. So, uh, if you want to go more in disassembling, you can also take out the uh, uh, stock. Uh, you can even, uh, if it's not very strong to lock tight it, you can also screw off the magazine tube and you can change for a longer or a shorter one, if you would like to. Um, here, the, this gun is carrying a tactical uh, telescopic uh, side folding stock. Uh, you, with a, together with, with, with a pin, you can push this uh, D-pin out and you can take this uh, out. And there will be another uh, bolt inside here with a metric 7 uh, alien. You can take this out and completely make apart everything. So we will make the assembly back. So, take a group inside. Okay, just be sure by looking, the holes are now aligned. And okay, slowly. If, if you are using a hammer, of course, it's a metal to metal, not to hard make a damage on your receiver. You can also use. A wooden hammer, plastic hammer, rubber hammer, or back of your uh, hammer. So take the way. There is an angel. You put and you push back, so it's strongly in its place. And you see the uh, extractor in its place. So you make the group when it's out and the magazine.
magazine tube inside the forearm to the hole directly, comes out, and you push all the way down inside. You need, to, you need to push this because, as you know, that stops, okay? You push that. If you don't do that, you cannot put inside. So be sure that the extension, barrel extension is all the way inside the receiver. And the magazine cap locks all the system inside. Okay, this is a tactical uh, model. Not all the tactical variations are here. You, you can also have a heat shield on the barrel uh, to protect your hand. It's a very sharp edge muzzle brick over here. We call that door breaker. This is a ghost string side set together with a Picatinny rail on the receiver. There's simply a, a, a screw here, not here. You can release, you can make uh, back and forward. Uh, there's also a higher of the system. Uh, we can have longer magazines, different type of uh, flash hiders. It's a three rail forearm, a longer rail on the bottom and two rails on the sides. You can really um, adapt flashlight or different accessories you'd like to have or a handle you can have here. It's 12 gauge, we also have 20 gauge of this, also we have 14 gauge. The stock can be a standard stock or telescopic stock. Also, it's possible to use an adapter over here to make a, a side folding uh, telescopic stock or options for top folding. There are many variations and options for stocks as well. Okay.